guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 2 All-in-One LP. So right now, yes, Little Rose is taking a dump um, on her little potty chair. We're going to try to potty train her. Hopefully, we can actually do it. Um, but yeah, in this part, I think Avery is actually going to probably move out. But a lot of you guys are probably like, but no, I love Avery, don't do it, no. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is move him into like one of these apartments so you can still see him around and everything. It just, this apartment's getting way too hectic and we just do not have cash to really move out right now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go take a shower now. Also, Amanda is sick with food poisoning. So, that happened. Look at Rose crying for no reason. Okay, Dawn's home, thank goodness. And we brought home a friend. We're going to go ahead and get a bottle for Rose. Feed her up. Clean the toilet. Use the toilet. Take a shower. Just kind of relax. It's just been so hectic, so crazy. Um, Amanda is super sick, and we're actually gonna go ahead and. If we can't, why can I never sell this bed? I can never sell our bed. She's just gonna go to sleep. She's really not feeling too great. Um. So, Don's gonna go ahead and do all of that, and he's going to teach. Where's where is she? Oh, she's in front of the tub. <laughs> Go away. All right, he's going to try to teach Rose something. Um, let's see. Let's wait for him to get out. Is she in a good enough mood? What's the matter with her? She's hungry. We just gave her a bottle, didn't we? Give bottle to Rose. Um, we're actually just going to have Avery come over here right now and not find a job, but find his own place. Maybe he can even move in with Michelle. I think that'd be kind of nice. Actually, you know what we'll go ahead and do really, really quickly. He's going to go use the toilet. He's going to go see Michelle. And ask her to move in. And then they're going to move out. So they'll be living together. Michelle is not home. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Oh my god, look at her! Oh, there we go! Michelle's moving into the house. Great! We're also going to go ahead and propose engagement right here in the living room. With the TV going. Oh no, the TV's not going. But in the living room. She's like, again? She's taking it! Okay. So, something good for Avery actually happened. He's very happy. Um, he wants to throw a wedding party. He wants to get married to Michelle. I'm happy for him. Um, we're going to go ahead and have him find his own place. Go on. Find your own place. And Michelle is going to go ahead and move out with him. Everybody's waving goodbye. Dawn's like... Bah, bitch! Bah! <laughs> so, yeah, they're moving out, which is kind of crazy. But, um, we'll see them again. They'll be, literally be living in this apartment complex. So, in the next part, Avery will be in the apartment. Goodbye, Avery! Who knows? He might end up back. I don't even know. I really, I don't know yet. I don't. I don't. All right, so we're actually going to um, call our landlord, report roaches, oh my gosh, and request a repair. Our house is really just a mess. Greetings, Don. Your landlord and I go way back. I'll have a word and make sure your landlord lowers your rent. <gasps> oh my goodness. How awesome is he? That is awesome. 
His name's Lee. What a cool guy. All right. So, Amanda, go use the toilet. She's still sick. Um, go ahead and have some... Have a strawberry. Have some alcohol. Have a beer. Rose is asleep. Just, oh, this house. Oh, you woke her up, Dawn. Good going. Hold her now. What a jerk! There we go. And let's see. Why can't he teach her anything, but Amanda can? It's kind of weird. We're going to talk to her. <laughs> Give her a family kiss. Aww. <laughs> Dawn, like, barely knows Rose. No, you're going to play with her, toss her in the air, play peekaboo, do all of that. Look, he actually... Here we go. Sims 3. You say, play toss in air. They don't even toss them. They don't even toss them in the air. In The Sims 2, they actually do. What the hell, EA? What the hell? Oh. Now he's going to play peekaboo with her. We definitely need to uh, call Cassandra up and kind of... Tell her that we're not getting engaged to her. We'll still probably hook up with her, but definitely not engaged. She has to go potty! Oh, done! Empty that out right now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, Amanda is healthy again! Yay! That's what I like to hear. Hurry, 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 Don! Take your daughter to the toilet! Go, go, go! She didn't really like Michelle or Avery. Awkward. Lovely. Now go empty that out, Dawn. Amanda, it is like 4 a.m. Can you turn off the TV? Go ahead and... Oh, she's hungry, so go have some grits. Uh, Dawn's about to go back to bed for a little bit after he eats his cereal. Okay, Amanda's going to eat her food, eat his. Oh, she cleaned it up. Oops. Look at look at her playing in the toilet. Oh, the dirty toilet. <gasps> Rose, stop. We're going to go ahead and give her a bath because that is just gross. In the broken bath, everybody. Ah, it's a hard nut life for us, really. Oh, and now it's dirty. Do you guys see why I so badly want to move out? Because I clean this freaking shower every day. It's true. Every day. Yeah, we're going to give Rose a little shower shower or a little bathy bath. And Don's carpool should be here shortly. We're actually going to try to get him a promotion pretty soon. Um, and we're going to go ahead and let's put Rose down for a nap so we can go get some sleep for a little while. Then we're going to head to the bakery, put our stuff out for sale, hopefully have a good day at work. Hopefully. Does Don? Yeah, Don's off to work. Okay. So yeah, I will see you guys when we wake up, head out, and do all that good stuff. Alrighty, Alrighty guys, and here we are at the bakery. I went ahead and cooked a little bit more, put um, you on, you bleh, all the food out, and even the cupcakes. Um, so I actually just called in a uh, caddy. Um, oh, here is Mortimer Goth, everybody. Here is Mortimer Goth for those who are, you know, been playing The Sims for the longest. He's, you know, a classic. So, there's more than we're goth, everybody. Um, so, actually, what we're going to go ahead and do is help these two customers out a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, sales. We're going to try to sell it to him. As you continue to sell stuff to Sims, you will actually, you know, be able to persuade them more to purchase your stuff. So, you know, he we helped him a little bit. We're going to come over here and try to sell it to this guy as well.
there we definitely just helped him we're gonna go ahead and help mortimer and look he just bought uh, a toaster pastry okay so obviously we didn't help him we're gonna go ahead and uh let's see assign to be the cashier So now we're going to go ahead and uh, try to sell it once again to Charlie. He's really, really conflicted on if he wants those cupcakes. There. And let's go back over. Customer loyalty is a measure of how your Sims feel about your business. Awesome. Look. Yay. We have a customer star. He likes our business. Great. Ooh. And let's go ahead and watch Katie really struggle because she doesn't know too much about, you know, about the cashier, you know, programming and everything. So she is going to struggle a little bit. Let's go ahead and try to help Mortimer again. Definitely not helping with him. Congratulations! This is your first simoleon earned by Amanda at the corner shop. Um, so our first dollar is actually placed in here, and we're gonna go ahead and put it right by the cashier station. Um, you know, cause that's that's cute. Or, or we can put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. So we're not even gonna bother helping Mortimer, cause obviously he's just not having it. We're actually going to go ahead and restock these toaster pastries. As you have them in your inventory, you can just go ahead and restock them. You can hire somebody to do this for you, but they have to have the items available for them. So, like, when you are, you know, doing a bakery, you have to constantly, you know, have this stuff ready and cooked. But when you're working with, like, electronics and stuff, it's probably a bit easier. All right. And this guy's looking around like he's super confused. Um... I don't know why, but I thought we could ask him, like, can I help you? But I guess not. All right. It's also, you know, nighttime, so not as many people are going to come. Um, except Mortimer Goth, because apparently this is his favorite time. We're going to try to help uh, this girl right here. Alrighty, so Mortimer decided to buy a berry pie. And he's still not sure if he wants another one. <laughs> and as your ranking goes up, of course more people will come. Your business will enhance. You'll just, it will be great. So here we go. Mar Marlena Hamilton. Let's see, Katie seems like she's getting a little bit better at the cashier uh, station. Over time, she'll get really, really good, actually. All right. Mortimer is taking his sweet old time. Really. Awesome. And he wants Justice is thinking about buying some more. So we're going to basic sell it to him once again. Mortimer is just being Mortimer. Congratulations! This business has earned enough customer loyalty stars to gain a new business rank our first day. And we are now rank one. Um, awesome. Awesome. So let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Which will enhance... Okay, hold on. Gaining a new business rank also awards points that can be spent on business perks, which enhances your owner sim's ability. Check the business tracker in the upper right corner on the screen to see your rank and spend points on perks. Owners can teach perks to other sims over time. To do this, click on the desired sim and choose pass along motivation rewards. Okay. So pretty much as your rank goes up, more sims will come and you actually have business perks, which are awesome. So pretty much we can go ahead and do notable reputation. People are getting to know who you are and they like what they hear. You know, you, blah, 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 blah. it will just boost your relationships. Great. Assess mood. You've gotten a pretty good idea of what happy customers look like. Now you can assess their mood to evaluate how perky or peeved another sim it is. Sim is. Blah. <laughs> nice job on the recommendation of your customers. You've won the Lartunamur Prize for new business owners. I don't know. Wholesale discount. 
ka-ching. Your growing theme as a business owner has motivated your suppliers to offer you a discount of future purchases. Um, and this is to influence people. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, connections. I feel like that's super important. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do reputation. So yes. Oh, Mortimer, knock it off. He's over here acting like he... I, I, I don't get him. Look at her dancing. Loving it. All right, Mortimer's going to go ahead and check out. Come on, Justice. I like you. Don't be jerk. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Uh, can we sleep in this? I don't think we can. Darn it. We can't. We actually have to head home to go to sleep. The disappointment. Stop eating that. You just got over food poisoning. What are you doing? Um, let's see. Fairly paid employee. She's a cashier. Yeah. What? Did, what? I don't. What did we do wrong? I don't know. I don't know what we did wrong. Um. Oh, and who's this? Somebody's actually here right now. Um, this is Nut. Nut, what the fuck? Nut Nanyel. We're going to try to basic uh, sell this to both of them. Oh, and here's Gwen. Um, she's also here. We're going to continue to basic sell this. Amanda has figured out on how to use the offer at to lower the price just this once and get a customer closer to shelling out the simoleons. That's the kind of screwdiness wins a bronze sales talent badge. Um, awesome. So we now have a bronze sale badge. We're going to offer it at cheap to him. Okay, yeah, he's still not having it. My bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, and somebody is working on her cashier badge. It just went up a little bit. Awesome. I probably shouldn't bother them too much, but it's working for some of them. So, yeah. Oh, and the bad witch is here. Cool, cool. Just our, you know, first day of work. She's here. Makes me just feel great. Oh, and she's flying away. Goodbye. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to offer it cheap? Like, I don't get why he's getting mad. I think he's trying to buy something that's not even there. All right. Awesome. She's totally down to buy this. And it's 7 a.m. and we're exhausted. Um, oh, and there's cockroaches out here. Go ahead and spray them. What just happened? What just happened? I fast forwarded it and that's what I got. She's in such a bad mood. All right. Yeah, we got to get going. Go use the toilet, Amanda. You're about to head home. Shut the business down. Um, oh, he got a bad customer loyalty or a thingy. It's not my fault that you were here for like no reason. But anyways. Just peed herself. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to have her go ahead and... Go ahead and... Why can I only make toaster pastries? I really don't get it. We're going to go have some toaster pastries because <laughs> she's super hungry. I don't want her to, like, die. That's never good. Yes, she smells. I know. Just go ahead and eat. Just eat. She's taking care of it over there. She's actually in a really bad mood and needs to go home um, or take a break or something. She needs to go home because I've had, you know, working her butt off. So. And I don't want her to quit. So I'm going to go ahead and close the business. Wait, but we're about to have so many sales. Oh, the struggle. Oh. 
Oh, let me just do this really quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and tell... Just send my employees home. Did she go ahead and... Did, is she going to go home? Yeah, okay. She's going to go ahead and go home. Let's ring up these customers. This is ridiculous. Ring up these customers. Why do I do this to myself? I push her too hard. I push her too hard. Look how mad she's getting for waiting. Please. No, don't run away. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just just wait. I just I just want to bathe myself. Go, Amanda. She's about to like just walk out. Wow. I'm just I'm just I'm fuck, I'm coming. I'm coming. She's just not going to do it. Amanda, go home. Go home. Go home, Amanda. Go home. Oh, we're at zero now. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and call the taxi and go home. This sucks. Um, obviously, I need more freaking workers. I need her to be in a good mood, and I did neither. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head home. Um, obviously, this was a horrible first day at work. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Life Simmer, and this was a horrible first day at work. Yeah, I'll see you guys at home. Alrighty, okay? so good morning, everybody. So, yes, that crazy day at work is finally over. We actually hired a maid, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Kaylin. <laughs> um, which, for those who don't know who Kaylin is, um, her and John kind of... They kind of, you know... They hook up. Um, so, we're actually going to spend the day with our daughter, Rose, here. Um, we're not going to do anything business-related, anything John-related. Simply rose um so right now we're gonna try to teach her how to talk because that's very much needed dawn uh in the next part we are actually gonna meet up with cassandra and break up with her um because it needs to be done avery will be moving in and um yeah just a lot will be happening this is what my sims do for fun Okay, um, just a lot needs to happen. I definitely feel like they need to go on vacation somewhat soon. Um, then I'm like, maybe I'll just wait it out and they'll go on like a honeymoon if they get married. I'm hoping they do. There might be a divorce. Like, I really don't know what's going to happen for them um, in the long run. But one thing we actually, oh, we have enough. Elixir of life. Um... I really need that. Really, really need that. The Simvac. Ooh. Their aspirations and skill to make them your own. I want this. Hopefully I can use this. <laughs> and does Dawn? Yes, Dawn has some as well. We could get smart milk. We'll get some smart milk. For the babes. Alright, we're gonna go suck some, uh, hopefully, if it's possible, suck some aspiration out of some sims. They usually don't work unless you're really good friends with them. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's feeling great. Look, she ran away. She's like, ha! Ah! <laughs> it's awesome. Love it. Go ahead and put that in our inventory if we can. Lovely. All right, and guess who's here? This is one of Dawn's little ladies right here. Uh, Kaylin Landrak. Here she is. She's a maid. She's uh, we're gonna go ahead and tip her uh, twenty five bucks. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna tip her. Do do do. Tip her uh one hundred. Somebody's going crazy. Oh, and that would be Caitlyn. Right here. She's going crazy because we took all her aspirations. He's like, go buy yourself something nice, huh? Really? Wow, Dawn. You're the best. <laughs> 
Or really? Wow, you're the best, Dawn. Um, so yeah, she's here to clean our house and we're going to try to behave while she's here. So neither of the girls get mad at us. Um, yeah. I just want to get rid of this effing bed so bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a TV dinner. And how are these two doing over here? Oh, she learned how to talk. Yay. We're going to go ahead and teach her. Oh, she's, she's hungry. So we're going to go ahead and make some smart milk for Rose. And how you can tell if it's a positive or a negative bottle is by the glow. When it's a negative, it will glow red. When it's a positive, it will glow blue. So these two are in a really good mood. So here she is drinking her smart milk. Which will just make her extra, extra, you know, smart. So teach her a nursery rhyme? No. Let's have her actually crawl here into her room. Have Amanda go here as well. And we are going to teach her how to walk. Oh, she needs to actually... JK! JK! Has she pooped her diaper yet? Yes, she has. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's go ahead and change her diaper. And teach her how to walk. So the smart milk really does help. Uh, your sims just... Well, your toddlers, your baby sims just learn... How to do everything so much faster. Now that I'm done with work, would you like to hang out? No, not today, not while this girl's home, not while Amanda's home. Maybe if Amanda's gone, one day we will. <laughs> but uh, she pretty much just cleaned the whole house for the most part. She didn't make that bed, but for some reason that bed's just never going to go away. Um, I don't know why not, but yes. Rose is just like, yeah, I don't really want to do this anymore, Mom. So she's, we're actually going to go ahead and give uh, Amanda a break. Amanda's going to go use the toilet, uh, take a shower, and Dawn is going to go ahead and, well, she's kind of tired too. She's kind of done for the day too. She just wants to go have fun. So let's go ahead and get a toy out for her. And let Rose come over here and uh, play with it. Let's also go ahead and put down the vacuum. So Amanda can try to go ahead and suck up some Sims aspirations. <laughs> We're going to make sure she's in a really good mood before we do so, though. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get some leftovers. We'll eat some chicken broccoli ziti. Watch a little bit of TV. Or watch the movie, actually. Alrighty. Go ahead and suck some aspiration from Lily Doe or Lily Do, whatever her name is. Oops, suck aspiration from uh, Makoto, whoever that is. Why aren't you gonna do it? Can we do it from Kaylin? She's kind of tired, but oh, it looks like Kaylin's the victim again. If Don didn't get it all, let's see. Poor Kaylin, seriously. She runs away like, what just happened? We're going to try it on Christian. Uh, oh, there she goes going crazy again. How sad. <laughs> really? How sad. Rose will go grow up in just one day at 6 p.m. It's time to plan a party. A, a party. <laughs> it's time to plan a party and buy Rose a birthday cake. Right, let's go ahead and uh, put our vacuum inside. We already used it twice. We can only use it three more times. So, yeah, everybody, that is kind of how you steal Sims. Everything's, everything's. That didn't even make sense. <laughs> That's how you steal their aspirations and their skills. It's pretty freaking awesome. Everybody's super tired. They had a long day of learning new skills and sucking aspirations. Poor Kaylin. Used to get beat by Jason. Now we're pretty much ruining her life. Um, yeah. 
I'm actually going to have Dawn wake up and Rose wake up. Hold her. And he's going to go ahead and uh, teach her how to walk. I'd get her a milk, but we can always save those for, you know, another kid another time. But look at her. Look at her and Dawn. He laughs. He's like, oh, girl. He has all these mistresses, but, you know, the real girl in his heart is Rose. How corny, huh? Oh. Poor Rose grew up pretty bad. <laughs> she had to deal with like Avery drama and her parents being super dirty and yeah. Oh, and she's about to learn how to walk. Auntie just learned how to walk. Um, and now I think the final thing that I actually want to teach her tonight, since we do still have a bit of time, we're going to teach her a nursery rhyme. This came with The Sims 2 free time. <laughs> She's just like, no, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Look at Don being a corny little dad. I love it. All right, Rose has been gained a point of charisma for learning um, the nursery rhyme. Which, um, actually, she hasn't been taught the nursery rhyme. Oh, no, she has. No, she's still learning it. She's about to completely learn it. She's getting like charisma points and such. Woo! Hey, Dawn, is Amanda available to talk? No. Amanda's asleep. Leave her alone. All right, and just really quickly, I just want to see them uh, sing the nursery rhyme together, and then, you know, it's, it's done. Cute. Cute. And actually, Rose has uh, two charisma skill points from that. That's awesome. Oh, she's going to sing it by herself. Hold on. I want to see this. She's just going to sit here all by herself. All by myself. So let's go ahead and watch her. Aww. Oh, um, <laughs> um, so, oh, so cute. Look at Rose singing. Oh, look at that. This happens. What? How even? Look, look, it's, I don't, look, oh, and he's going to say that Rose smells bad. They, oh my gosh, they're horrible parents. They run downstairs and they leave Rose upstairs. They left Rose upstairs. Are you kidding me? What? Even? Dawn, gotta run. Next time, please be more careful. That was ridiculous. Really? Ridiculous. Alrighty, so yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I know these last couple of parts of The Sims 2 have been absolutely absurd, like craziness has been happening. Um, everything's been going downhill. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> but in the next part, we are going to, there's a couple of things I want to do. First, how much is our house worth? Let's see, where can I, I forget where you check this. I don't remember. Okay, I don't know. Um, but there's a couple of things that I actually... Oh, we're here. This is how you do it, right? No. Okay, so like I was saying, 
I want to, um, A, I want to definitely move out of this apartment. Way too small. Way, way, way too small. Um, B, I want Dawn to hang out with Cassandra. Kind of just break up the wedding. Call it a no-go. Um, and move Avery in. But then my thing is, if we're moving, why would we move Avery in here? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But this apartment just is not doing it anymore. Definitely too small. Um, so don't be surprised if in like the next couple of parts, if you see a new house. Okay. Um, so yeah, guys, I love you all so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.